much do things cost in Egypt? A taxi, a hotel, a hostel dorm, entry to the pyramids, groceries, juice, wine, cigarettes, restaurants, spices. Come run around Kaida with me and find out. Kaido. It's January 2024 and the current exchange rate at the banks is one US dollar 231 Egyptian pounds. So today I'm going to be going around the city showing you how much things cost. Without further ado, yalla, let's get into the video. One large bottle from the convenience shop, seven pounds. One small bottle of water from the convenience shop, five pounds. One can of soda, 10 pounds. One juice box from the convenience shop is eight pounds. One pack of Marlboro cigarettes, 80 pounds. One pack of Winston cigarettes, 60 pounds. Come here, you little kid. One Turkish coffee at a local coffee shop, 20 pounds. One Turkish coffee at a very expensive posh cafe, 48 pounds. And for a latte, 72 pounds. An Uber from Cairo International Airport to downtown Cairo, 225 pounds. That is right now though. Of course these prices can change. I've seen it as low as 160 pounds. I've seen it more expensive than 225 pounds. So that's uh, the going rate at this hour on this day with the traffic. In case you didn't know, you are able to look up the price of Uber while being outside of the country. So for example, I'm gonna show you guys the app. I'm not in New York right now. I am in Egypt, but I will look up a price for a taxi, let's say in New York. Okay, so you just need to put in your location first. Okay, so I just put in that I am at the Granza Central Station heading to the World Trade Center and you can see the price. And I am in Africa, in Egypt, so yeah, if you are curious about how much Ubers cost, just input where you are located and then put in your destination and it will show you the cost. But bear in mind, if you are coming at a certain time, you need to take into consideration the time zone difference. So maybe you're going to arrive uh, to Cairo at 1 in the morning. If you look it up in your time, it's not going to be the same prices. So prices can vary according to the time of day and traffic, things like that. One star budget hotel in downtown Cairo, $45 for the night for a single room. A three star mid-range hotel in downtown Cairo during peak season, $85 a night for a single room. Standard room at a very expensive five star hotel, $500 a night. One night at another very expensive hotel, $250 a night. Prices for a mid-range hostel in downtown Cairo. A dorm in a hostel can cost at Medina Hostel around $11.60 a night and for a private room around $35 to $40 a night. I'm on the rooftop of this hostel right now and I actually made a video about this hostel showing the rooms, giving a tour, as well as a few other hostels here in the city. So if you are interested in getting a more in-depth look into these hostels, check out the video I will link here, five best hostels in Cairo. But yeah, that's general range. Of course, it's peak season. Other things can affect this like inflation around the world that's happening. Uh, but that's a general idea of a price for a hostel. A budget hostel in downtown Cairo. Dorms start from $8.08 a night and private rooms start at $16.17 a night. I have also made a video here at this hostel, so I'll leave the link here. Five best hostels in Cairo if you are interested in seeing a more in-depth look to the hostel. Go bus to different cities. Well, Go bus is usually the bus company that I use to travel to different cities like Luxor, Dahab, all over the place. They basically just don't go to Aswan, but they go to all the other cities and maybe not Siwa. But it is a cheap way to travel around the country. Trains tend to be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more difficult to book. So Go bus, for example, there's a large range of prices for the places that you are going to. But if, for example, if you wanted to go to Luxor, you can get the cheapest ticket is 240 Egyptian pounds. The most expensive being 500 Egyptian pounds. 
it does depend on the time of day, the class that you are taking, all of that. Uh, another example, a bus to Alexandria, the cheapest is 100 Egyptian pounds, the most expensive being 160. To Dahab, cheapest being 280 pounds, and the most expensive being around 350. Uh, to Sharm al Sheikh, 260 being the cheapest, and 650 being the most expensive. And the same for Hurghada, around 260 for the cheapest bus, and 650 Egyptian pounds for the most expensive bus. So, of course, these prices can fluctuate, but that's a general range of the cost for buses to different cities around Egypt. So, go bus. I did actually make a video about this, so if you want more details about the website and you can see the prices as well as uh, inside the buses, check out that video. I will leave the link up here. Now I'm going to head over to the Egyptian Museum, which is just across the street here. So, yalla. Entry price to the Egyptian Museum, 450 Egyptian pounds. Busy day. Uber motorbike from downtown Cairo to the pyramids of Giza, 70 Egyptian pounds. A car was 120. <laughs> General ticket to the pyramids of Giza, 540 Egyptian pounds for a foreigner. I'm not going to be talking about the cost of tours today because tours can range greatly in price depending on the quality, the rating, you know, it can be extreme luxury and cost thousands of dollars and it could be a budget day trip travel where it's $30, $40. I'm not even sure to be honest because I never take tours. So I'm a solo traveler, a budget traveler. When I first arrived to Egypt, I came alone. I didn't know any Arabic and I just took Uber from the airport, took Uber around the city and then to go bus to different cities so it's completely possible to explore on your own if you are comfortable capable of doing that if not you can find a lot of different tours online or you can also find tours here in person and perhaps they are cheaper I'm also not going to be talking about apartment rentals because again prices vary greatly depending on a lot of different factors so it could be the cost of an unfurnished apartment or a furnished what neighborhood you're in, is it a gated community, a compound, there's just so many different factors um, that affect the price of apartment rentals. So for example, I could just give you like a ballpark, the lowest of the low, nowhere near downtown might cost you 1,500 Egyptian pounds, maybe even lower, I really don't know. Um, but I know that it can go all the way up to the thousands of dollars um, in a nice neighborhood. So yeah, there's a lot of different factors, I can't really get into that, so let's skip that topic. One ticket on the subway from downtown Cairo, Sadat Station, to Coptic Cairo, so Mar Girgis, is six pounds. That's four stops. By the way, really quickly, with this ticket, uh, don't throw it away once you get into the metro because you're going to need it to exit the metro at the turnstile. One kilo of Egyptian rice, 39 pounds. One kilo of pasta, 28 pounds. 15 eggs, 72 pounds. One container of soft white cheese, 83 pounds. 2.2 liters of corn oil, 200 pounds. Six rolls of toilet paper, 63.50. Expensive laundry detergent, 
uh, 1.8 kilograms, 129 Egyptian pounds. 100 grams of sugar, 37 pounds. One liter of milk, 42 pounds. 95 grams of Nescafe, 118 pounds. One loaf of bread, 34 pounds. 700 grams of salt, 10 pounds. One kilo of chicken breast, 270 pounds. One kilo of minced beef is 357 pounds. Or for beef cubes, 418 pounds for the beef cubes. Okay, we have all sorts of spices here. Nutmeg is 114 pounds for 65 grams. We have curry for 46 pounds, 70 grams. Uh, it's really all over the place. We have pepper, 70 grams for 92 pounds, white pepper. Mm, what else? Ginger, where's the ginger price? Ginger, 70 grams for 53 pounds. Onion powder, 60 grams for 73 pounds. Yeah, there you go. Lots and lots of spices in a grocery store at the spice shop. We'll go there and check it out. Maybe it's different. I think it is different. <laughs> spices at a spice shop. So you have ginger, this bucket of ginger here. Um, my communication is a little bit struggling, but one kilo of ginger is uh, <laughs> 140 pounds, so one kilo of ginger. I have all these spices here. Um, you also have cumin, if you want a kilo of cumin, 480 pounds. I don't know how to ask in like smaller amounts, so. And if you want saffron, one gram is 100 Egyptian pounds. So, yes, a lot of different spices here um, at like a local little spice shop. One kilo. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to ask for like 50 grams or something. I don't know who's buying a kilo of spices, but anyways, yes, those are the prices at a local spice shop and not in a grocery store. So there's some fruit in the grocery store and one kilo of imported banana is 64 pounds, but normally it's 70 We have apples looks like imported apples as well 89 88 pounds, but normally 110 That's for six pieces. One, ki one kilo of oranges, 15 pounds. Normally that's 23 pounds. And we have some vegetables over there, but to be honest, I'm gonna be going to the fruit vendor because those guys are cheaper. That's where I always get my vegetables. So just wanted to show it really briefly. Ehlen, Zayk. Shokran. Guys, so I'm just here at a local fruit shop, so not in the grocery store, but if you come to a local fruit shop and you want to get a kilo of bananas, that is 18 pounds, or one kilo of tomatoes, where's the tomatoes at? 12 pounds for a kilo of tomatoes, a kilo of potatoes, 18 pounds, or you have a kilo of onions, the red onions are 30 pounds, or for these ones, uh, 16 pounds. <laughs> so yeah, those are some prices for some fruit here in Egypt at a local fruit vendor. Right, so just in a local souk here, souk babalouk here in downtown. Let's see if I can find out prices for some meat. Um, if they don't mind being filmed. Look at all of those cats. <laughs> I want to ask the butcher, the zar in Arabic, how much is some chicken? Fresh chicken, y'all. <laughs> so one kilo of chicken from the butcher is 170 pounds. Bekem lahma, one kilo. 
¿Eh? Metimos ¿Eh? Arbe, estamos. La... ¿Eh? Está latín. Brasil. Brasil. Meat from Brazil. Toma. One kilo of meat from Brazil. 240 pounds. Okay. Okay, so that's some local butcher prices, local fruit vendors. Let's go see what else things cost, how much things cost in Egypt. Meat at the butcher. So obviously, if you're going to the butcher, you want chicken, you go to the chicken guy, or beef, you go to the beef guy. Um, a kilo of minced beef here is 250, but they have a lot of different stuff inside. Yeah. One liter of gas for uh, petrol, 92, 11.50 pounds. Or for 95 Super Plus petrol, 12.50. Two food sandwiches from a street vendor, 10 pounds. Mm. Two Tamiya sandwiches from a street cart, 10 pounds. One chicken shawarma at Kazaz, 70 pounds. One koshari from Koshari Tahrir, 28 pounds. Of course, you could also be eating at very expensive restaurants. Like the white building behind me is the Grand Nile Tower, which has a revolving restaurant and you can spend thousands of pounds there. So you could also be going to the Nine Pyramids restaurant over in Giza, which is a lot more expensive than your typical <laughs> restaurant. So there's everything in between, of course, depending on your budget and what you are willing to spend. You have restaurants where you can spend thousands of pounds, thousands upon thousands, or you can simply spend, you know, 10 pounds for two sandwiches at a street vendor. It totally depends. One bottle of Omar Khayyam wine from the liquor store, 160 pounds. One can of Meister beer from the liquor store, 45 pounds. One bottle of Stella from the liquor store, 40 pounds. One Egyptian Stella at a local bar, 50 pounds. One glass of wine at a mid-range bar in Cairo, 105 pounds. One very pricey cocktail at an expensive bar, 450 pounds. One banana milk, 25 Egyptian pounds. One mango juice, 25 Egyptian pounds. Uh, fresh juice shops all over the country. I wanted to get an avocado smoothie like the last video I made, Prices in Egypt video, but they didn't have ice. But that costs 35 Egyptian pounds. The ice just arrived, but I'd already ordered. So another great way to stay refreshed while in Egypt. I've made more detailed videos about a lot of the things I've shown in this video today. Things like Cairo nightlife, juice shops, tons of street food videos, go bus, hotels and hostels, accommodation like near the pyramids, uh, markets and bartering, uh, what to wear, what the weather's like, etc. So check those out. I hope this helped. If it did, give it a big like so that it can reach more people. Subscribe for more and I will catch you on the next one.